Can I avoid airline baggage fees by packing under seat hand luggage only? I can't even pretend to not be nervous to be taking the small little bag that I'm taking to Germany just for three nights. But like you guys, we all want to save those pennies so that we can do more trips. A little bit of a crusade now, a bit of a mission. So there's been something that's gone on in my life, which means that for now, I'm taking a bit of a leap of faith into doing as much travel vlogging as I possibly can and as much storytelling about my travels as I can. And if that means that I've got to travel with a tiny little bag like that to save the extortionate fees that they want to charge you going on an aeroplane, then that's what I'm going to try to do. And the reason is, yes, okay, my income has dropped significantly at the moment as I've taken the leap of faith, left behind my academic career, which I've been building for 10 years, and now taking the leap into being a full-time writer. Now, part of that means obviously doing these YouTube videos and doing my storytelling. So let's see how we're gonna get on with this little tiny backpack. It's not even the case. So this is Ryan Air and EasyJet standard for going underneath the seat. I believe I can get enough stuff in there to get me through this long weekend in Berlin. Let's have a go, shall we? EasyJet's website currently says that everyone can bring one small underseat cabin bag per person on board for free. It can be a maximum size of 45 by 36 by 20 centimeters, including any handles and wheels and must be kept under the seat in front of you. It can weigh up to 15 kilograms, but you have to be able to lift and carry it yourself. This is deep. Look how deep my hand goes into it. Like, I don't have big hands, but they're not tiny either. So I'm pretty sure if I roll my things, I can get the stuff into it. Yeah, look, look. So that's going to go that deep. Perfect enough that it cost me £25 compared to £70 to take on a bag on the plane. Now, I'm not even kidding when I say to you that I want to do more travel, but you need to think about it because I can find some incredible deals for like... 200 pounds so if i go somewhere for 200 pounds and then you add on 70 pounds to take on a bag and then you add on parking or a train to get there and all these things it adds up you know you could double your cost so this is an experiment to see just how little we can do it for and can i manage with this small bag for the whole weekend and the reason is i don't want to stop traveling just because i've taken this leap of faith now and gone into my my full time living online you know it's going to take some time to build that up and what we need to do is make sure that we make as many compelling videos as i can for you guys so that you're interested in the story and that you watch more so let's see what we can do as always, I love to ensure that I've got my Apple AirTag in the bag that I'm taking just in case you end up leaving it anywhere and you might be able to trace it. And it just gives me a little bit of peace of mind. You might be asking yourself, how on earth is she going to get all of that in that bag? And I'm asking myself the same question. But let me tell you something. There's some little swaps here that we can do without a problem. Little tricks get little things but you can buy these at the airport these are 12 pounds and i keep them and then i'll buy the bigger one and then i will dispense into that and don't put in more than you need because what you need is what you need you're going to make it heavier that's obviously got to go in the liquids thing and don't forget you need to take the actual little bag normally now don't judge me this is what i'll use for, for skincare look at the size of it can't get that on the plane anyway so i have this size so we'll dump that we'll take that this is a bag that I will fit all of my makeup in. Hang on a minute. Are we going to the beach? Are we going to do island life? No, we're not. Let's get rid of that. This will be my hairbrush. That can go in there. That can stay. Small things, tweezers. I've got two pairs in here. Do we need two pairs? No, we need one pair. One pair is fine. So we'll sort that all out. So I will make sure that in here is all the only, the only stuff that I'm going to need, which is the makeup. Now, as you can see, I don't wear a lot of makeup. So that's going to be fine. But I will, at the airport, go and buy mini things of shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste. I'm going to put my toothbrush in here too. So if we think about it, this stuff is all going to roll up. We all know the rolling trick by now. I don't need to tell you that on this pack with me video. You already know about that. And are we going to get it in here? Yes, we actually are. I'm going to take the leap of faith and not take the towel. I'm going, I'm staying in a hotel. Pretty sure there's going to be a towel there. Otherwise, I would have taken my microfiber one. I'm considering this is a Packamac. 
the weather forecast is dry. I could potentially sit this on the outside of the bag. I've just been and bought these hair bobbles. For some reason, they just seem to be eaten. They just vanish in the house. So I've just got another load of those for one pound from Primark. Probably take three or four of those. I won't need any more than that. I'm gonna be taking my little manual toothbrush. It's much smaller than my electric, although I do really like an electric toothbrush, but that will fit nicely in my other bag. Now, something that I haven't told you, is this, I am going on a dance competition weekender. Normally I need one of these. It's a very physical activity. It gets very hot. What do you do when you're in little school? What do you do with bits of paper? You can't satina them and make them into a fan. There will be somewhere, a bit of paper probably when I check into the hotel. I can make that into a fan so that I can save the space there. I don't need to take this. Although let's just take a minute to appreciate the beauty that is this fan that came from Vietnam. So yes, I'm repping as well for men's mental health. As always, 60% of you that watch on this channel are men. Boys get sad too. I often get stopped when I wear this jumper. And in case you didn't know, these guys who, I'll be fair, they're not the cheapest brand in the world, but I love it and you get 10%. They put 10% towards the charity. I'm gonna be wearing that because it's a big thing. So that's not going in my case. Underneath that, I will wear obviously a bra, and a sports bra because in case I want to go running I'm going to be taking the sports bra and also that goes underneath this top which slides off the shoulders and it looks really cute with a bit of pink underneath it picks, picks up the pineapple dance top so that's something we're wearing and not packing I'll also be wearing my jeans and not packing those on the flight and these are three quarter length so if it's raining at the other end I won't be getting soggy feet because I wear a lot of flared trousers so they're not being packed what else can I wear underneath that so now we're left with this. Now I've decided not to take unnecessary things, but let's make a start. So I'm gonna have to put, I think I'm probably gonna put my laptop on the top. So I don't really, I think this might be defunct, this bit in there. So obviously we're gonna need to take a plug. Can't travel without my little roller for my hair and also my fringe brush. So those are definitely going in there as well. These are the dance shoes that we take. Okay, that's what we wear for jive. So they're not the prettiest things in the world, but that's all I'm gonna take. And do keep these little bags that you get when you get your shopping because they're so handy for things like this or a wet swimming costume if you're going on one of those types of holidays that you can pack it up in there and then it won't affect everything else in your case. I've got my underwear going right in the little corners there. And then I'm rolling up a little vest top, a little bodysuit, some cycling shorts, my carry more trousers that you can wear for all sorts of things they're great they're just like running trousers really got my big long black flares which could be worn as smart you can dress them up you can dress them down those are honestly my definite go-to's and rolling everything up of course makes it much less creased when you get to the other side I've got some of these little tops which go over a little vesty top and they're really, really cute and they dress things up nicely. Loads of little ties that go around the front. Very flattering as well if you've got a little bit of a tummy, but let's be honest, I have. This is my competition go-to dress. I wear this quite a lot and it is really light and it rolls up into pretty much nothing. And I'll be um, matching my partner wearing that as well, so that's really good. By the time I'd filled this bottom layer, I noticed there was still like, you could live a whole other layer on top as well. So I've got this brand new little um, peachy coloured sweatshirt that I bought in Primark that can go over many things. My makeup bag squeezed really nicely in the little corner there, which was great. And then I just put a couple more t-shirts on top. Still felt like there was loads of space in there as well, which I was quite flabbergasted about. Another one of those tops with all the ties on. One of them is multicolour and one is olive green and shiny. That shiny one actually took up more space than I expected. But I still felt like there was loads of room. And even though it looks here like it's bursting at the seams, you'll see in a minute at the end that it's not. And then I've got a black top which will go over the top of the bodysuit. Now the reason that it seems like I've got so many clothes is because we all have daytime clothes and nighttime clothes. And obviously if you're just going like city sightseeing and you're going to be indoors of a night time, you might be in your pyjama type clothes, then that's obviously different. But put it to the test, does it do up? It did up really easily and there was loads more space. My passport and obviously my little EU medical card. 
you probably know by now I cannot go anywhere without my journal. I journal absolutely every single day without fail. It massively helps me with my mental health and my storytelling. And also I am taking my laptop just because I think it would be really good to keep the momentum going with my writing of my next book. It feels pretty comfy on my back and it's not too heavy. Hmm. I'm confident that I've got in there everything that I need. Now, the only other thing you've got to bear in mind, I'm going to have all those layers on me and a coat, but I can make these slightly looser if I wanted to. And I am going to take my little crossbody bag, which is going to have in it my passport, my purse and my glasses. So those are three things that are going to be on my crossbody bag so this will fit underneath the seat i have got all the things oh the only thing that i forgot to put in there but i could use a t-shirt the only thing i've got to put in there is my night dress um but i could use a t-shirt it's normally pretty hot isn't it in hotels so what do we think do we think i'm going to manage have i forgotten anything come on the trip with me just to see if uh, if this is it like, is this me backpacking? The only other thing I'm gonna be putting is my, my water bottle in the side pocket there. And when I get to the airport, I'm gonna be going and buying those minis. So I'd kind of like to leave a little bit of space somewhere that I could pop those. Maybe they could go in the front there. That'd be quite cool. I could take a little tote bag, but I didn't really wanna do that particularly. There's plenty of space. Oh, I haven't got my phone charger in there. That's something I need to remember. But otherwise, I'm good to go. So will we manage three days going across Berlin in this bag that goes underneath the seat? It's um, it's compliant and it's obviously not full up. And you know, you can tell by looking that that's going to fit under the seat in front of you. Now, what I don't like the idea of is not being able to put my feet out for an hour and a half. It's only an hour and a half, no biggie. But if I can get it above, I'll put it above. And if they come along and say, excuse me, please, can you put that underneath the seat in front of you? Of course I'll do that, no problem. Now, I'm going to be going to the airport very early in the morning. I'm going to do my usual Starbucks trip. If that's not something you know about definitely make sure that you've subscribed because you're going to want to see that although there is another video which you could go and watch where I describe my Starbucks trip um, some people are like oh my god old woman uses technology thank you very much for the compliment um, I'll take that as a compliment I don't know if they've got sushi in the airport maybe I'll get a bit of sushi otherwise I'm probably not going to bother too much with the meal deal because I'm going to arrive in Berlin very very early in the morning at like well probably 10 o'clock I've got to get a bus across the, the city, which makes me ever so slightly nervous. It's a country I've never been to before, never been to Germany. And then when I get into Berlin, I would like to find myself, if I can, a gluten-free coffee shop that I can sit and have a nice gluten-free pastry. Now, if this is something you can recommend to me, please do leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know your recommendations of where I can go to eat that and just to have a moment with myself and just to reflect on the fact that I'm going to a competition without my fan club, without my daughter, and um, I'm going completely solo this time. I'll have friends when I'm there, which is very enriching, and I'm just very excited to spend some time with them. But I'm just trying to embrace this new life of mine and trying not to worry too much about what's going to come up in life right now. So I have now packed, so that means I've got a couple of hours free now to go and spend at my desk writing my next book, which is about the Asia series and about me embracing this writer lifestyle. So hopefully you'll wish me well with that. I'm very excited for that. I'm going to get a hot water bottle on my back and I'm going to make myself a nice mint tea and off I go to enjoy my afternoon. Have you tried this yet? If you're somebody that's tried this, make sure that you let me know about it. Um, also see some other pack with me. So go and watch another one of these videos. All right, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.